Hi everyone, Lindsay Heinemann. Just wanted to check in with you and do an end of the year kind of a goal recap and take a look at the goals that I set for myself and I made, a couple that I didn't, and then also um, shoot looking forward into the coming year, what my goals are looking like, um, because that provides a little bit of accountability for me from you guys. And also I'm hoping that it can inspire you to set big goals for yourself next year. Um, so diving in, first, three really big goals that I know I absolutely crushed, buying a house, publishing my book, graduating from college, all done. So those are off the plate. Moving on, um, I set a goal of working out 125 times. According to my tracking app, I worked out 123, but... At the beginning, it was not recording all of my workouts. I think it was actually closer to 130 that I did. So I'm gonna count that one as um, met. Going into next year though, I'm setting a larger goal of um, working out 100 and, what did I say, 140 times next year. That's my goal. Um, another goal that I have going into next year, every year read the Bible by the, you know, the entire Bible that year, um, wrapped up Revelation this morning, so I met that one. Um, I had another one of playing 15 special events this year. I only played seven. Wait, no, eight, if I count the Birds and the Bees workshop. So yeah, I only met eight, so I only got halfway there. Um, so I'm going to keep that goal the same for this coming year to play 15 special events again. I also set a goal for myself of speaking at 10 events, and I only spoke at 6. So, um, yep, keeping that one the same, and I'm going to hit it this time. Um, let's see. Oh, I just had one. It was on the tip of my tongue. I should have written these down. If I was better organized, I would have written this down. Um, oh, I wanted to read 25 books. I actually read 28. Uh, so next year I'm shooting to read 40. I also have added a goal to that about halfway through the year where I would write reviews for all of my um, self-published author friends books that I read and I actually only did two out of the six got reviews. I'm sorry, Shayla and Heather, I owe you guys. So be looking for those in the next couple of days. My goal for next year those 40 books that I read, the ones that are self-published, I will put up a review for and also catch up on the ones from last year that I didn't get them. I'm going to get them up on Amazon and Goodreads. I'm sorry, ladies. I totally spaced it. Um, yeah, so now for you, I now have, if you follow the link in my bio to lindsayheineman-christianlifecoach.com, I just uploaded it, it's there, I tested it, it works, the link works, for you to download your very own um, goal setting poster for 2019. I just designed it myself this morning. It has areas for the five big areas that we should be setting goals in and then lots of space to write in so that you can set one really big one but then you can also set some sub goals so like for me professionally i'm going to finish my second book this year and publish it maybe in the fall we'll see um but that's you know getting the book finished is up there and then i have a bunch of other little goals there like reading the 40 books and putting up all of the um, reviews for all of my author friends so there are lots of places to put extra little stuff in there. It's absolutely free. Just go to my website and download it. I hope that you find it helpful. It helped me when I was creating it to kind of solidify what I'm shooting for in the next year. And that's all I have. I will see you guys in 2019. Have a great new year.